The Provincial Department of Education, partnering with Zara Royal Tiger Events Management, is hosting an aviation career expo right here in Pahameng, Gahiso Secondary School in Bloemfontein. Now they're trying to expose the 600 learners which they've picked from this Motewa district to these aviation careers that are out there. Now let's go inside as these children are in anticipation. I mean, who wouldn't want to try out a career that is out of this world except for admin and other stuff, but something very unique. Let's go inside. Uh, under my branch, I have CIREC, which is sports, occupational therapy, social workers, career education, and that is what is, it is about today. And uh, we decided to have this uh, partnership in May with uh, Reach for the Sky. It's a, it's a company, it's an, a program that is owned by a company called Desire Tiger. A management events company and they were in, interested in investing, investing in our learners and they are very passionate about ensuring that we increase the percentage of learners who are actually um, interested in aviation and uh, all other airborne uh, you know careers that than, rather than the, tra the more traditional ones. So we sat down, we agreed, and what is nice about it is that they were not willing to actually partner with any other education department ex uh, in the, in the, at the level of the district in the Free State, except with Muteo. So we jumped at the opportunity, and they were willing to take 10 schools uh, from our district, and those schools are from Excel Suar, uh, Tabanchu, Butabelo, Mangaum, um, and when we, you know, asked them for more, they could add two more. So we added Lireku and um, Lukulung in the list. So uh, these learners are going to learn more about aviation and there's going to be a drone that is going to fly over so that they can see it with their own eyes. And Zar Tiger Events Management has partnered with TITA you know, uh, Transport Education uh, Training Authority. So they are partnering with them. They are providing everything. We are just coming to bring our learners. So it is now 12 schools, 50 learners per school, um, which gives us almost 600 learners. And uh, we have invited 10 teachers from each school, and they are all here together with their principals. The first purpose to introduce Tita to you, also to introduce the aerospace industry to you as and lastly to capacitate the teachers on the occupations that are that exist at CETA. Transport CETA uh, in the in, in the economy we have several sectors we have the bank sector we have the finance sector, we have the transport sector, we have the um, services sector. There are several sectors in the economy, but TITA operates in the transport, se uh, transport sector. So our purpose in the transport sector is to develop skills for the sector. So we, need, we make sure that skills exist that are relevant for the sector and can take the sector forward. So how do we do this? We do this by developing qualifications for the sector. So all the uh, qualifications that exist in the sector have to be accredited by CETA. CETA has to develop the curriculum they have to develop the learning material for, the, for those qualifications. And also they have to accredit training providers who provide the training for those qualifications. Okay? Other services that we offer as TITA are career guidance. And this event is an example of such an event. We provide career guidance to high school learners so that you can be aware of all the opportunities that are there in the economy. Education, you are going to die with it. No one will take it away from you. Education will enable you 
to transform your life completely. Ne? Completely. E education will enable you and then to transform your RDP house, your mukuku, into a mindset. Education will enable you to move from the rural area, from the squatter area, to go into the top class suburb. It will enable you to do that. Education will enable you to transform your life from being a pedestrian to being a driver of a Porsche car. Yes. Thank you very much for understanding that no matter what, you will stick with education. You will dedicate your first 13 years and then of your education in the basic education from grade R to grade 12, which will enable you to access tertiary education to be a pilot, to be a mechanic, to be whatever you wish. We have seen it. It has just been exemplified that when you talk of a pilot, we don't talk about, you know, another white man from somewhere whom we don't know we read about. When you talk about uh, someone who is a traffic controller, we don't talk about someone we read about or we see on television. It is people who come from us. It is people who come from our own locality. You have just seen that Mohau, Mohau was coming from the same institution. Mohau wrote his metric exam in the very same hall. Mohau wrote his uh, exams, grade 11, grade 10, grade 9, grade 8, in this hall. We are so proud. He's from Mangawum. Utsawana Muna. Again. Eh? And after you always listening to your friends or wash I you it's on my cup here pressure turns out of study shot counting you you go also just because you want to stick with your friends for life you must follow what you want even if that means that you're gonna be different from your friends even if it's already 30 it's a mess you're gonna up it guys you must work hard if you know you want to become a pilot and you're scared to say it because what's ever got us in the filament be confident and work hard but that's all that is out still and you'll become a pilot one day so, there's this dance that we, we do and you guys are going to find yourself doing this dance in some point in your life where you dance between doing work that you love, a career that you love perhaps, and participating or doing work that is aligned with who you are. And that's what I want to talk about today. So. I, for one, believe that we all here have a personal calling. A personal calling, what is a personal calling? A personal calling is God's gift to us. A personal calling is, like uh, Paulo Coelho says, it's, it's, it's a unique journey that we each have that God has chosen for us. Now, how do we find this personal calling? How do we... You know, how do we figure out what this personal calling is? And it's a very tricky thing to do, right? Um, one of the methods I use to find out what my personal calling is, is to be observant of how I feel in everything I do in life. So, you guys are still in, in, in high school, I'm assuming. You guys are going to go into tertiary. There's a lot of things that you guys are doing, from academics to sports to athletics to going to church, to dancing, to doing all forms of other hobbies, right? But there's a specific feeling you get in each and everything that you do. It's, it's, it's a feeling of enthusiasm and excitement and joy. So, say hypothetically speaking, you love soccer or and um, every time you play soccer, there's this feeling, you even forget when you went to go for soccer practice or going to play a match. And this feeling that you get is so amazing, it's so powerful that you just feel a sense of joy and excitement, enthusiastic about what you're doing. You love playing soccer. Nobody will ever derail you from doing that. You'll even skip church to go play soccer. Those emotions you feel are a clear indication that you are in the right path of finding 
your personal calling. I am the owner of Zar Royal Tiger who has um, gladly partnered or received a tender from TITA, Transport Education and Training Authority, to bring this event which is called the Reach for the Sky uh, Career Expo. Uh, basically what it's about is an aviation career expo. Uh, the reason why I chose Matteo District is because Matteo District is the biggest district in Free State and it's never had something like this so we wanted to just bring something fresh and different for the district basically. Right. Tita present today um, and they are within this kind of transport, they're in transport and what we can guarantee is people will have understanding and um, knowledge about the opportunities that are presented by Tita and the other exhibitions that are taking place inside the hall today. So they'll get information on if they wish to have bursaries, how to go about it. That is one thing I can definitely guarantee is the knowledge and understanding that we're bringing today. So people are informed and they are not um, oblivious to what is exactly happening outside of the district. I started realizing my passion of becoming a pilot in 2010 during FIFA World Cup. And then in 2013 I became a young Falco from our South African Air Force. And then um, in 2015 I, I met to at TC. I even went to her in Joburg just to meet her. I sat down with her and then we talked aviation. And then during my metric year, I also lost my mother. I was studying here. That was sad and so on. But I had that thing like, okay, my mother, she passed on knowing that I want to become a pilot. So that is the first thing that ever motivated me. I reach for the sky. I reach for the sky. I reach for the sky. I pilot. Pilot, Wow, what a motivational session, a jam-packed info session it was. Learners being exposed to aviation and fields within the aviation sector. A pick for me was Mahal Dibi. He used to attend at this school and came back to motivate them that if I did it, so can you. What can I say to these learners? The sky is the limit and it is befitting. My name is Tato Davis and I'm reporting for Tessera TV. Now this is brought to you by Bombenero Investments in conjunction with the Free State Provincial Government and this is how I sign out.